at the cheering down in Parque Central in Havana. And there's a lot of folks out there rooting on Team Cuba in Havana tonight. In the Cuban clubhouse just before first pitch, everyone was well aware of how much the game mattered. <laughs> These guys have won a lot of international tournaments and we always said they're going against amateurs from other nations. Well, guess what? They played against the best, they played against Major League Baseball now, and they have proven that they definitely belong on the same stage. They have major league talent, they're just not in the major leagues. To have a tournament like the quality of the Classic Mundial, or to play with peloteros of great leagues, it would have been a very beautiful experience, ya que que tenía un equipo prácticamente imbatible, pero bueno, siempre le faltó ese, esa motivación, ¿no? De jugar con peloteros de grandes ligas y, y probarse en general su calidad. Bringing these two baseball cultures together, these two great baseball cultures, that was a huge moment and a huge matchup as well. The tournament had begun with more than 150 major leaguers participating. Now, improbably, the rosters in the finals had just two. Still, that didn't mean there wasn't any big league talent left. In fact, the name of Japan's Senpatsu Toshu, or starting pitcher, would soon be familiar to American fans. Matsuzaka, one of the best in Japan. This guy has major league stuff. In fact, don't be surprised if you see him pitching in the major leagues in a year or so. The Daisuke phenomenon was, was great to see unfold on this global stage because you know, you'd heard about him, you know, he supposedly threw the gyro ball. The gyro ball, the pitch that no one could really see, understand, or comprehend. The 2006 WBC was a pivotal moment in the creation of the myth of Dice King. Uh, that is a look back at the 2006 uh, WBC on MLB Network Presents coming up Tuesday. Uh, this will be the fourth WBC. John, you're going to be heavily involved this year calling the games here. Give me your best WBC moment. It's got to be Dice K because, look, the, certain countries approach this t way differently than we do. And the, the culture over there and the way they went about, just the way they pitch, and he put forth some kind of effort in this what is spring training for most people getting ready for the regular season and it it turned into two MVPs for this guy and you see in this one particular in 2006 he was outstanding timings everything because you got to be good quick you don't have the opportunity to build into something like most people when we go to spring training uh, build in so I'm going to have to say Dice K was was about as dominant as you want when it didn't technically count other than this tournament for the World Baseball Classic, he represented his country in a fine way. Danny, your top performer. You know what? I get the whole gyro ball, right? I was fixated <laughs> on that. But to me, it was La Potencia, which is Spanish for the man. <laughs> Yoenis Cespedes, 2009, this was his coming out party. Remember the video that came out later of him oh, working yeah. out, like jumping over everything? He was running through. He was running on water, and he was doing all running on tires and everything. But this was really his coming out party. And I think a lot of people looked at this unique talent and who could have forecasted down the road like nine eight years later that he would be such an important part of the New York Mets the Mets need La Potencia and La Potencia needs the Mets yeah I talk about that Mets rotation but I mean his bat has oh, to play guy. big time uh, for the Mets